This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Lots of people are talking about how the Pentagon's proposed budget for 2013 will affect aerospace and defense electronics, embedded computing, sensor processing, and all kinds of other applications that are central to our industry. In general, folks I've talked to are worried. They're hedging their bets and they're keeping their powder dry. Yet, despite the financial jitters, one of the bright spots of optimism I hear about most is military systems upgrades and technology insertion. Now, in an era of military austerity, where new platforms will be few and far between, upgrades and technology insertion represent one of the best opportunities for aerospace and defense electronic suppliers to win military work. Systems upgrades and technology insertion refers to taking today's planes, tanks, ships, and other military systems and making them even better by installing new sensors, displays, networking, and other technologies. Now, many of these systems, such as the M1 Abrams tank, the F-16 jet fighter, Ticonderoga-class cruiser, these are getting long in the tooth, but a system like this doesn't have to lose its fastball with age. Installing the latest generations of electronic and optical technologies can make these old platforms nearly as good as new and often just as lethal. Okay, you're probably saying, I've heard all this before, so where's the action? Where are these vaunted upgrades and technology insertion opportunities? Well, I'm starting to see a lot of them, in fact. Just last week, Lockheed Martin got a potential half-billion-dollar contract from the Missile Defense Agency to upgrade the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Ballistic Missile Defense System, which we know of as THAAD. Now, here's one for you radar guys. Earlier this month, the Air Force Electronic Systems Center sent out some feelers to industry about upgrading three aging ground-based ballistic, ballistic missile warning radar systems, PAVE PAWS, BMUs, and PARKS. Some of these big radar systems haven't been touched since the 70s, so you know there's going to be a lot of work to do. Just over the last month, we've seen contracts going to Raytheon, General Dynamics, BAE Systems, and Lockheed Martin to upgrade big defense systems ranging from the Patriot anti-missile system, the M1A1 tank, C-130 aircraft simulators, shipboard missile defense systems, and the Paladin self-propelled heavy artillery system, and the list goes on. Now, if you're in the embedded computing business or build sensors or software tools, you might be wondering, what's this got to do with me? Well, the moral to the story is it pays to keep an eye on the prime defense contractors because they're today's technology gatekeepers. They have the relationships, they know what's in the pipeline, and they get the contracts. So it's up to you to stay close to the primes and put yourselves in the best position possible when those subcontracting opportunities come up as they inevitably will. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.